Okay, so this is day 19. We did skip a bunch of stuff in this packet, but this is the last thing we're doing. We're not gonna do day 20, and I wanna collect this today when you finish. Make sense? Okay, let's look at number one together. 15 out of 20 students surveyed in your math class said they were excited for summer vacation. What is wrong with the other four, five kids, I wonder? Like, is, aren't all of you excited for summer vacation? Yes. Yeah. It just seems too far away still, doesn't it? Exactly. Okay, so back to the problem. 15 out of 20 students in your math class said they were excited for summer vacation. What is the probability that the next student survey will also be excited? Well, we're going to use this workspace down below. At least I am. And I'm going to make a ratio of 15 over what? 20. Okay, and what do we turn... What do we turn these fraction ratios into with probability? We like to turn them into percents, and there's a couple ways I could do that. I could take 15 divided by 20 times 100 and get 75%. Or, you did 15 times 100 and I could just say, well, I know to get 20 to turn into 100. I'm going to multiply it times 5, and 5 times 15 would be 75. Or I could have set this up as a proportion and put an X here and cross multiplied, yes? So there is a 75% chance that the next student surveyed will also be excited. Number two, the results from the survey were used to predict how many students in the whole school are excited for summer. How many students would be expected to say that they are excited? And it's giving us the total here in parentheses. There's 1,250 total students in the school. Where are we going to put this into our proportion? First, our answer is 75%. So what does our first ratio need to be? 75 over? Perfect. And since we have 1,250 total, that's not our part, it's our whole, whole and it goes down here. And this is definitely a case where it would be best to just cross multiply, right? So 75 times 1250 divided by 100. I got a half a person. Did you guys get a decimal? Okay, I can't read a calculator very well there. I got 937 and a half. Can we have half of a student? No. No, I'm going to round up because it's 0.5, right? So I'm going to say 938 students. If you said 937, you're not wrong. But I think there's going to be more kids excited about summer than not, so I'm going to go ahead and round that up. Make sense? Okay. Number three. I want to talk about number three because this is the kind of question you will probably see on the SVAP. Is this a random sample? What do you think? Why? Because you can't use 20 students as a model of the school and there's 1,250. Uh, but the idea of a random sample is, does everybody in the school have a chance of answering this question? No. If you're asking this in your math class, does everybody have the chance to answer? No. No. So it's not random. But it's probably still fair. Because don't you guys feel like this class is a pretty good representation of most 7th graders in the school? Yeah except there's not enough girls in here because boys rule <laughs> okay that, that's our quote of the day from Xavier okay it's not a random sample because not everybody in the school has a chance now if they had asked 20 people at lunch would that have been more random okay so that would be the reason why You don't have to literally ask 1,250 people to make it a random sample, but you should be doing a survey in a place where the majority of people would at least have the chance to be one of the 20. That would be like if I went to 
a soccer game and only ask the soccer team a question. Does everybody in the school have an opportunity to answer that survey then? No. Only the people, not only who like soccer, but who are actually playing soccer, right? So whenever we're talking random, the people who it's asking should have all have a chance to answer. Okay, and with that, we are done with this packet. I would like it turned in.